Welcome to the April 2020 episode of Core Safety TV, brought to you directly from the National Mining Association. As we all know, the coronavirus pandemic has been spreading across countries worldwide during the last few months. The United States now has the highest number of COVID-19 cases, and the challenge to our healthcare system and economy is expected to only grow in the weeks ahead. In this episode, we'd like to share some information that you may find useful for your mining operation. First, be aware COVID-19 conditions are still changing very rapidly, and there's a lot of misinformation being shared online, on the news, and between individuals. It's important that we rely on vetted experts and official channels. With that in mind, there are three websites that are probably the best places for you to stay up to date, cdc.gov, OSHA.gov and MSHA.gov. The CDC is the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Their homepage is completely dedicated to information on the coronavirus disease. And you can also search on there for the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health page, or NIOSH. OSHA.gov is the Occupational Safety and Health Administration's homepage. MSHA.gov is the Mine Safety and Health Administration's homepage. All of these sites have current information on the pandemic, and it's worth visiting them almost daily to stay up to date. As of April 6, 2020, when we are taping this episode, many states have issued shelter-in-place orders and are requiring non-essential workers to self-isolate or stay at home. Whether you're a mine operator or a miner who is required to follow those directives, or whether you're still able to leave your home and go to work, I've got some recommendations from MSHA that you should adhere to. First, when possible, avoid close contact. Put distance between yourself and other people, at least six feet. If you're at the mine, this includes following your mine's rules related to personnel carriers, hoist, elevators, or other means of transportation. Clean and disinfect. Wipe down equipment and other frequently touched surfaces at your mining operation. Wash your hands often with soap and water and do it for at least 20 seconds each time. Scrub hard, not only on your palms, but between your fingers and on the back of your hands. If you don't have access to soap and water, use a hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Cover all surfaces of your hands and rub them together until they feel dry. Never touch your face, your nose, and your eyes. This is a primary route for infection. Stay away from people who are sick to whatever degree that you can. Stay at home if you are feeling sick, especially if you're coughing or sneezing or if you have a fever. So what are the symptoms that someone might have with COVID-19? Here's a short list. Fever. Coughing. Shortness of breath or difficulty breathing. Persistent pain or pressure in the chest. COVID-19 spreads from person to person, generally between people who are within six feet of one another. This happens through respiratory droplets produced when an infected person coughs or sneezes. A person is most contagious when they are experiencing these symptoms. Again, this is why you want to practice social distancing as much as possible and always stay at least six feet away from your coworkers whenever you can and wash your hands often with soap and water. The same thing holds true when you're at home. You should also do this. Clean and disinfect daily. If you need to, you can make a household solution of five tablespoons of bleach per gallon of water, or four teaspoons per quart. Or if you visit the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency website at epa.gov, you can find an up-to-date list of approved disinfectants. Now, Let's talk a minute about pandemic preparedness in mining operations. Here are some tips to consider. First, designate a manager or organize a central team of people to keep up with current information about COVID-19 by checking in on the websites that we mentioned earlier. 
As NIOSH Director John Howard said recently, clearly your emergency response plan now has to be a coronavirus emergency plan. Assist employees with getting up-to-date, accurate information and in managing things related to the pandemic that may cause them stress. Use practices that encourage keeping distance between coworkers when possible. These might include reminding workers at the start of each shift about all of these tips, especially distancing. Scheduling reduced or staggered work shifts. Providing employees with sanitary supplies, such as hand sanitizers, cleaning supplies, tissues, or personal protective equipment, PPE. Educating and training employees in proper hand washing and sanitation, cough and sneeze etiquette, and social distancing. Finally, let's take one more look at where you can find COVID-19 resources online. As we mentioned, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, known as the CDC, which can also take you to the NIOSH homepage as well. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, which is referred to as OSHA. The Mine Safety and Health Administration, known as MSHA. The Environmental Protection Agency, known as the EPA, for information on approved disinfectants that you can use at work and at home. You can also go to NMA's website at nma.org and find some downloadable infographics about COVID-19 and the safety tips that we've mentioned today. Feel free to share them within your mining operation. All right, that's it for this month. Check out those websites several times a week and follow the tips that I covered here and watch for more of our updates on Facebook and Twitter. For Core Safety and the National Mining Association, I'm Nelson Duffel. I'll see you here again next month. In the meantime, please be safe out there and stay healthy. And that goes for your families, friends, coworkers, and loved ones as well. To share one of your safety stories, videos, or photos, email us at info at coresafetytv.org.